Hey guys, just another little quick and dirty video here uh, to show you what can happen when you buy stuff off the internet. You never know what you're going to get. My neighbor um, had a problem with his power supply for his external hard drive. He actually got the plug in backwards and shorted it out and blew his power supply. So I showed him, this is what you need to get. You need to get a power supply which has got that configuration. 12 volts, 5 volts, ground. That's what he ordered. That's what arrived. Well, so they said. Blue light comes on on the power supply when you plug it in. Everything's looking good. As soon as you plugged it into the uh, hard drive and turned on the power, the blue light went out. So, brought it over to me. We're going to check it here. I'm guessing that the, it's probably reversed. So, I've unplugged the hard drive so that I don't do any damage to it before I, while I test this. Okay, yellow lead should be the 12 volt line. And the 5, five volt should be on the... Um, the red and as you can see on the meter there yellow lead is measuring 5 volts and the red leads measuring 12 they sent them the wrong adapter rather than go through all the hassle of returning it we're just going to do a little surgery on this hard drive and reverse the 12 and the 5 volt sources so we're just going to take out the little interface board here this is a real simple one anybody can do this if you can handle a soldering iron and an exacto knife you can do this take out the circuit board you'll see that on the bottom of the circuit board here the, the, the pins are connected to the switch and all we're going to do is we're just going to cut the traces and we're going to reverse them it's as simple as that so I got my snips out here I'm just going to cut this trace here Okay, I've cut through the trace, as you can see. Get a nice cut mark through the trace. I'm just going to use my own meters, and uh, we're going to test to see that it is in fact open. So when I put the probes together, it beeps. So when I put my meter on here and test, it's open. We put my meter on the other side and test, it's open. So here we go. Sorry about the noise there, guys. It's my neighbor has got his, I don't always get a hot rod or a truck or something, but he seems to enjoy having the thing idle. And uh, yeah, I guess he thinks I enjoy smelling his exhaust drifting into my garage. But it's a warm day and I really don't feel like closing down the door. Oops. We don't want that. So, a little jumper wire here. make sure we don't short anything out and that one's going to go to this terminal over here so this one's going to go down to this other side of the power jack here just like that now we've reversed our our 5 volt and 12 volt lines just I'll help you blow your engine up. Okay, now we can just uh, test this thing again. I'll just get anything conductive out of the way here. Don't want to cause any short circuits. We'll just uh, we'll just plug the uh, the board back in. Set the board back in. the smell of things that car smells like it gets about five miles to the gallon I'm getting high from all the vapors drifting into my garage 
I think if I lit a match right now, there might be a small explosion in here. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should be nervous hooking up electronics, eh? It might cause a spark. And there's a strong smell of gas, if you could only smell it. It's, uh, the uh, car next door is certainly uh, not very efficient. The engine is not very efficient because uh, I'm smelling, uh, smells like somebody's got an open gas can. Okay, so now we have 12 volts. I'll turn the meter so that you can see it. Zoom the lens back a bit here. Uh, let's see if that's better. Okay, now you can probably see that yellow line 12.69 and the red wire 5.32 that's what we want to see now I just gotta uh, of course I gotta take this off to connect it because there's not enough clearance but we're gonna connect up this hard drive and this will fix this problem okay we're gonna power it up now and well it's not killing the light anymore on the power supply that's a good sign and uh, now all we need to do is connect this up to the computer, but uh, I can hear it spinning. That's a good sign. That car is still running. Let's go see what's making all this noise. Aha! Now we know what's stinking up my garage. Okay, it doesn't get five miles to the gallon. It gets probably five gallons to the nautical mile. <laughs> now we know what the stink is. The boat that's stinking up my garage.